This is a right retromastoid craniectomy and microvascular decompression of the trigeminal nerve. So the patient's ear is at the top of the screen and top of the head is to the left of the screen. And this is a microscopic view with a suction on a micro patty. That micro patty is over the cerebellum. You see a bipolar forceps coming in. That's a, the two pronged, looks like a tweezers. And that is going to gently retract and the suction tip is also retracting. That thin glistening membrane that you see there is the arachnoid and that's an arachnoid hook coming in on your right, which is going to puncture the arachnoid and allow for some drainage of cerebrospinal fluid. So there you see a little gush of cerebrospinal fluid. So now we need to dissect out the arachnoid on the upper Top left-hand corner, you can see the petrosal vein, and down to the right, you can see the uh, superior cerebellar artery. So there's some micro scissors that I'm dissecting the arachnoid with and opening up the arachnoid to get access to the trigeminal nerve, which is that white structure at the bottom of the screen, right in the center. So now I'm dissecting the arachnoid a little bit more. The suction tip is retracting the cerebellum slightly. And now you can see a full view of the trigeminal nerve right in the middle of the screen. And that spatula, that's a dissector, is going to mobilize the, the, uh, interior, the anterior inferior cerebellar artery away. And you can see the groove in the trigeminal nerve as I move it away. So again, you'll see the motion here and you'll see the trigeminal nerve, that white structure. And when I move that blood vessel, you can see the little indentation of the nerve right there in the top part of the screen in the middle. So what we need to do is put some padding between that blood vessel and the nerve. Now you see the padding going in. That's the shredded Teflon felt, which is holding the blood vessel away. And you'll see that it is diverting the blood vessel away from the trigeminal nerve. So now here comes the suction again to d retract the cerebellum and you can see the trigeminal nerve is now padded and the blood vessel has been diverted away from the nerve. Now we haven't done our job completely yet. I need to put another padding in there, but you can see that that little shredded felt that I'm moving over with the spatula is diverting the blood vessel away from the nerve that blood vessel was knuckling into the nerve and that was what was causing the trigeminal pain. So now you'll see another padding coming in, a little more focused view right down on the trigeminal nerve. To the right is the loop of blood vessel that's been diverted and you can see the padding going in. And then I'll take a, another type of a dissector called an angulated dissector and I'll move that in and I'll just sort of fluff it up and around to keep that blood vessel uh, from pulsating on the nerve anymore. And we'll put another padding right there. You can see the trigeminal nerve is still, the course of the trigeminal nerve is still slightly deviated, but over time that will straighten out as long as we can get that blood vessel away from the nerve. So here's another larger patty that I placed there. And that is going to, once it's tucked in, under the loop of the blood vessel, it should keep that blood vessel away permanently. Now that padding will ultimately scar in and it's non-absorbable absorbable material, so uh, it's not going anywhere. And you can see now that the nerve is completely and thoroughly decompressed and that angulated dissector, and you can see the nerve has already started to uh, straighten out. So that's the goal of a microvascular decompression is to protect the nerve, to divert the blood vessel away, and to put some padding in there that allows the blood vessel to continue to pulsate and the nerve to be free. So that's a microvascular decompression under microscopic view. Now I'm zooming out and you can see the size of the incision, which is again, just behind the ear. And uh, you can see the dural leaflets, which are tacked up. Uh, which we'll close and remove. Now I'm removing the rubber dam cottonoid. You can see the surface of the cerebellum there. So that completes the operation. Hope you enjoyed watching this surgery.